Good afternoon, everybody. It's a great pleasure to have somebody here that uh, comes from science and talks about topics that go well beyond the traditional science that we usually cover at EMPA, namely Ernst Peter Fischer studied mathematics and physics in Köln, then uh, did an additional study in biology. Maybe that's the foundation why you wrote afterwards so many books from physics to mathematics to biology from Einstein to Darwin, all scientists that had a big impact and have some anniversaries in these current years. And uh, then you moved also beyond the traditional fields to do history of science and uh, did that in various functions at the University of Constance and also as uh, responsible for various fora such as Stiftung Forum für Verantwortung. So that uh, connects to ethics, a topic that is extremely important these days because we always struggle and debate how high the standards have to be for scientists and scientists are humans as bankers are and so I see that very, very often we also act a little bit similarly. That's why I'm so much thrilled to hear more about how scientific is science and I'm really looking forward to your talk. Thank you very much for coming. <clears throat> Yeah, thank you for inviting me. I first, uh, I'm very grateful to give, have a chance to talk about this topic because um, as a general opinion, I would like to say that I don't think that we understand science at all. I think even we, uh, we, we fool ourselves into thinking that we understand science. I, I believe that nobody has any idea how science works and I will give you a few examples uh, to surprise you a little bit about this. Uh, in order to make uh, this sentence, uh, this question, how scientific is science in a more reasonable way, uh, I define science uh, as something that is done by scientists. And scientific is that what philosophers describe when they describe what scientists are doing. And usually they have no idea. Uh, and I'm serious about this. Uh, but uh, I'm not saying that I understand how science is progressing. Uh, maybe you can help me. First of all, I would like to point out that I have a very comp a different opinion uh, of science as most of you, you people do. Usually you think science is a methodical way to uh, give answers to questions that you have about nature. So you transform a mysterious nature into a, a, in this, into a reasonable answer. I don't think so. What you do is you transform a mysterious nature into a more mysterious answer. I mean, you, you, you always say that after each answer you give, you have more questions than before. You know, why, why not be honest? So the answer is more mysterious than the question you started with. And actually, I'm sure if you look serious what science is doing for you or for us, it's not explaining the truth or something. It's just uh, giving you more mis mysteries to worry about, to wonder about. So science is increasing the number of mysteries we have in the world. If you agree to this opinion, you are ready for the lecture. <laughs> Uh, because let's take a, f a simple example. Uh, Albert Einstein explained to us uh, more than 100 years ago the nature of light. He said it's a wave and a particle. So you think you have an answer? Well, here you go. If something is a wave and a particle, you're absolutely certain don't know what it is. Because uh, if it's something at the same time, wave and particle, you can do a lot of experiments with it, but you can't tell what it is. So in other words, light is more mysterious than before. Congratulations, you made it. So I think that's a great achievement of science, to increase the number of mysteries that we have in the world, because that's only what people are interested. People love mysteries, people are interested in mysteries, and, when, and they get stimulated by mysteries. So be mysterious. Uh, actually, uh, it's also good advice for uh, surviving your, uh, mari uh, your, 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 wedding, uh, your marriage. If, you are, if your wife understands all what you're doing, she, she will uh, apply for a divorce. So you have to uh, stay mysterious like light does. Now, uh, I was, uh, since today is a special day, namely the 
150th anniversary of the publication of Charles Darwin's great book. I was asked uh, before to give a little introduction to Charles Darwin, which I uh, did not include in my talk in the first place. Uh, Charles Darwin, of course, is a scientist, and uh, it seems to be that uh, uh, it's very easy what he did. He understood evolution, and he explained this to us by saying, well, that there are mutations and there's selection and stuff like this going on. And in the general way, you have the feeling that we understand perfectly well what evolution is all about, and we ex actually can even explain how Darwin hit upon this, and it seems to be completely independent of space, time, culture, or whatever. And this is all wrong. Uh, 